I would like to introduce what we are doing in our clinic regarding digital. Um, and um, I would like to say that for us, this is a new implant dentistry, okay? So what, what I'm going to try to show you is what we are doing in two different models of treatment. First of all, the first one will be regular implant, implant placement. Then we are going to take digital impressions with a neutral scanner. Then we are going to make a provisional prosthesis same day. We are doing, we are, uh, our aim is to provide our patients with the provisional prosthesis same day. And according to that diagnostic tool, the provisional prosthesis, the temporary, we are going to make as many temporary prostheses as needed to reach the final one to be copied on the final prosthesis, okay? That will be uh, one approach. The other approach, is obviously guided surgery, but our under concept, we call it, you know, guided prosthetics. For me, it is important, of course, to make a adequate planning and to place the implant guided, but the main aim of the treatment, again, is to, to provide the patient with a previously made prosthesis to be, to be placed onto the implant, place guided, but right at the end of the intervention, okay? So, both, both, they, they have different elements. Also, we are going in the guided, to make as many, uh, in the guided approach, as many uh, temporaries as needed. So both, uh, the aim of both is to provide the patient with same day restorations, okay? So according to that, uh, our elements of treatment are, of course, implant, a special surgical technique, let me call it a special, it's not so special, of course, but there are, uh, we have to consider that it is a whole treatment and you need to, to follow, from, from my view, uh, different steps to reach the final one. So, so a modific surgical technique, of course, hostel, uh, to, to objectify the, 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 um, the ability of the implant to be loaded, and, of course, intraoral scanner, then a special protocol for scanning, then make temporaries, uh, and when you are reaching the final prosthesis, uh, take all the uh, precautions to take, uh, to have passive fit with a clear bar and safe filter. So regarding the implant, we are using bone level taper implant, which is an implant we are very comfortable with. with a, um, it gives up a lot of plasticity where we are doing our surgery and uh, we are very happy with the, uh, with, with the digital workflow with bone level taper. According to that, uh, we are going to use during our surgery a special surgical technique. As we need to achieve a high ISQ value, high uh, immobility of, of our implants, we are going to make a progressive drilling. While we are drilling, we are thinking we have to load that implant. So sometimes you are making, as you are doing all of you, Usually in your practice, you are doing, you are using a small drills at the final one. Uh, we are going to go most of the times, if, if possible, flapless. Why? This is not. This is very important because if you are thinking you are going to scan your patient with the intraoral scanner, any mobility of the tissue means that your scanner is not going to record properly the file. Okay, so you have to be as less flaps as possible. Okay. So going flapless, then we are going to use suspensory sutures. I will show you uh, one of them. And of course, a visual control of the fitting, of the abutments, of the, and, and of course, of the scan body to the implant or to the scan body. So this is, for example, a pro-arch case with four implants uh, with four SREA abutments. And what we are doing in the lower is to create a hole in the bone and then our, our suture is coming from the lingual, then entering the bone, and then going to the vestibular flap. Doing so, you are going to make a, st a stiff suture and to make the floor of the mouth almost immobile. Less pain, less uh, inflammation, and again, less mobility of the floor of the mouth when you are going to scan with your patient. Do you follow me? So no mobility means better scanner, no mobility means good results, means accuracy, okay? Uh, we need to use the hostel. I, I, I was thinking during your presentations about the hostel, and I, I, I try to find something in, in our life that can predict 
what is going to happen. So I think this is priceless, you know. Uh, for us, it is important because we need to objectify the, the meaning of our treatment from the very beginning, to, if the implant is, is going to be loaded, and to the future, uh, reaching the best result for our patients and make any studies and everything. So for us, ISQ values is, uh, are fundamental. Again, the intraoral scanner. We are using the TRIOS 3, from, the TRIOS 3 from 3 shape. Um, we have two, the color and the black and white, and we are really happy. We started to use it in 2012, and we are using in a chair shape model and also on a, sending to, to an external lab to do it. But our model is to place the implants, guided, non-guided, scan the patient, and produce the prosthesis in-house, chair side from single unit to full arch. So uh, the question is that regarding different publications, different papers uh, talking about the precision of the, uh, of the conventional implant prosthesis, we are most of the times, uh, we know that the accuracy of, of the intraoral scanner is superior, is better than the conventional impression taking. The question is how to scan our patients, how to, what, what is the protocol you need to use to get accurate scanners, okay? When you are talking about single unit on four arch. So our recommendation with the TRIOS is to make what we call a one-shot, a one-shot scan. It means that I'm going to create a main body of my scanner without stopping the scanner, to create a full body of my maxilla, of my mandible, where, with a lot of registrations, non stopping the scanner. You stop the scanner, uh, the, then the software is going to stitch different, different uh, streams, and it will be better. It will be worse, sorry. So make, try to make a one-shot scanning. Then, uh, the, for example, if you are placing your scan bodies on, on, your, on your implants, you, you need to orientate the flat part of your scan bodies to the same side to the palatal or to the vestibular. Why? Because with that first shot, I'm recording and taking a registration of all the flat parts just with one movement, okay? This is very important if you are uh, dealing with a lower arch. And of course, a different protocol when you are scanning, trying to get the best results of your scanner. So this is a, a, a patient, uh, um, the perio, the perio asked us because it was a terminal dentition, so what we did, is, is to extract. This is very important. Please note that, that that's the scanner of our patient, but we preserve both molars on the upper. Do you know that? Do you notice that? So preserving those molars, <laughs> our lact the lac technician can mix that file with the previous file coming from the study model scan. It means that blue is the study model scan, and that's the new scanner, the new, the new file for the uh, bridge to be designed, okay? So, using that, you are modify, modifying everything because you have everything trying to, when you are matching both files. You are modifying, you are using the uh, information from the occlusion, from the vertical dimension, from the position of your, of your teeth, everything. So now we are going to make, we, we are going to preserve those molars only to give my lab technician all the information. That's the upper bridge and we are going to place it nicely same day it takes about one hour and a half to be milled it is milled in, in uh, teleocat in poly polymethylmetra uh, pmma and we are placing it so uh, the patient comes and the the, the 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 ability to provide the treatment that all of us we are looking for it it is very important same day because we are looking for simplicity, no pain, and a, and a quick treatment, okay? But the, the, basis, the basic on this patient is, have you seen the occlusion without touching nothing? It's because this is a copy of the functional situation of our patient, okay? So let me, uh, temporaries are the, one of the final steps because this is, for, for example, is a guided full arch Coming from, a, coming from a, it's a guided prosthetics, it is obviously not so good, you know, but this is a diagnostic tool. We need to change as, as uh, many as possible till we reach, for example, to this one made by Arturo Godoy in Mexico. We have a close collaboration with him. It's a dental gingival prosthesis to get our patient a nice appearance after, make, uh, after providing the patient with several 
temporary breach, breaches. So let me, uh, finally, we are going to, to, uh, to check with, uh, we, are, we, we are having, we are taking the final intraoral scanner, uh, scan, sorry, and then with that file we make a, a jig, a, a confirmation jig to place on our patient. It's, it's of resin, transparent resin, and we are going to place the, the, the screws uh, and to place the bar onto the SRE abutments. So you can see, that's, that's uh, recorded with the micro, so you can see how nicely the uh, screws enter the prosthesis without no movement. We are trying to confirm that our file is correct and according to the design to be, to, to be able to mill the final framework. Okay? So just before making the final one, we are making this and we are also with the final framework, the zirconia or metal, we are making the uh, Seafield text. This is very convenient because you can see directly everything regarding your screw onto the abutment. Okay? It is better to make it clear.